Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at an HP Omen laptop. This is a 15DC model. i flip it over and I'll try to show you the model number there if I can zoom into it. Hit the focus. And today we're going to be replacing both fans on this model. Um, they're making noises, the customer reported, and uh, we have the replacement fans here. And we're going to be swapping those out for these ones and replacing the thermal paste. So first thing we're going to want to do is flip the laptop over, of course and take out the screws. Uh, there's two longer ones here and here, and then the rest of them are a little bit shorter, so these are quite a bit longer. And we're gonna use our magnet screw tray, in there, and on in there. Those are the two long ones, and then the remainder on the side, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. This one looks like it's actually missing one already right there. But normally there would be six more ones. Okay, once you do that, then you're going to want to take the bottom of the laptop off. We're going to use our pry tool, which is the guitar pick. Stick it into the side of the two plastic separates. Rip your way around. Should start hearing the plastic clips separating, and at that point, you should be able to take the bottom case off. And we have access to the laptop's internals. You'll see here we have these. Uh, this is the heat sink. Um, you can see that these little plastic covers are going over top of it, so we'll need to take these off to get access to the fans underneath. The fans are underneath that heat sink shroud. And we're going to remove the little plastic shrouds on the top. So there's two screws here and here, and there's then there's this tiny one over here. I'll try to zoom in so you can hopefully see it a little bit better. Start out by taking the smaller ones first. There's one there, and then there's one right there. Take those out, and then there's these two on both sides. These ones have a uh, fatter screw head on it. And they're also shorter, so you shouldn't be able to mix that up too easily. Take that out. Now we'll remove all the screws for the actual fans and the fan shroud. So there's one right here. There, all of them are marked with these little arrows, so they should be pretty easy to easy to find. They're also a slightly different color, so if you put it back together, you should be able to notice that they're more silver instead of the black screws. There's also one underneath this little uh, plastic sheet, so you have to lift that up, take that one out. There's also one underneath this wire down here for the charging jack, so take that out. And then we should be able to start removing the shrouds, so uh, if you slightly lift this up, you should see this starting uh, to flex there. Turn the laptop around. Screws out of the way. These can be pretty difficult to take off. Uh, there's also one more screw in each corner. Should take those out. These things are a bit difficult to take out. Uh, sometimes you have to lift up the whole shroud to get it to pop out, and then if you get it on just the right angle, the whole thing should pop off, and the shroud should come with it. And then on the other side, same thing. Uh, this one has the wire being routed underneath of it, so make sure to try to pull the wire out from the charging jack so that this doesn't get caught and you accidentally yank it or break the connector. And then you should be able to lift this up one up the same way as the other one, and then this should kind of come right out like so. And then this wire can just pull it through like so, and then leave the charging jack inside the laptop down off to the side. So then I have our two fans here, one for the left and one for the right. 
if you're looking at it with the battery facing away from you, the one on the left is this one with the little heatsink pad, which goes underneath the solid state drive. So we'll do that one first. Uh, you'll have to take out the drive, which is a single screw. And you can lift up the drive, pull that out. And you can see there's the old one has that heatsink as well. And we also have a screw right here for the fan. Take that out. And you can see here that the heat sink sort of lifts up, uh, although there's this piece of tape here that's holding the fan on. So you'll have to separate that tape. Uh, I'll use the same guitar pick that we used to try to loosen the, the tape underneath of there. This is just to kind of help direct the airflow so that the fan pushes the air directly through the heatsink material. Um, it did just rip and it does rip pretty easily. If you don't get it on perfectly, uh, it's not a huge deal. There's not much air that's being lost through that tiny little crack there. It won't do much for performance. Uh, and on a laptop in this condition, in terms of like dirtiness, it's, it's very rare that uh, that tape survives. But now I should be able to lift up the fan. Now, of course, the fan is still connected, so we'll have to unplug it. Pull this out like so. And you can see that this fan is still connected right here. So I'll disconnect that, pull that out. And you can see it's very dusty in there, so it's always a good idea um, while you have it apart to just blow it out with an air compressor. You can see this giant lint bowl uh, just came out of that. So just to make sure that you have all the lint removed, take a little brush, uh, if you have one, and just brush it out, get all the dust out of there. I'll go ahead and swap it out with a new fan. Um, should be pretty, pretty clean in there. I'll go ahead and place the new one in, like so. Kind of go in at an angle here, because it is underneath the heatsink. And actually, since we're in here, we'll replace the thermal piece, so we'll just take off the whole heatsink. And to do so, we'll need to remove four screws for the CPU, four screws for the GPU. Um, and a good rule of thumb when taking these out is to go in diagonals. Uh, they are numbered, so one's numbered one, one's two, one's three, one's four. So kind of try to go in that order, loosen them about a uh, quarter of a turn each time. And just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four until it comes completely, the screw comes completely off. sure to put your screws somewhere where you'll remember them. Those are the heatsink screws, and then the GPU. Same screws for the GPU. Just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and those should come right out. One, two, three, and four. And those are the heatsink screws. So I'll lift the heatsink out. Uh, of course, we do also have that fan over there, so I'll need to uh, remove that fan also. But uh, the heatsink should just pop right off. Um, you shouldn't have to use too much force. What happens often is that the thermal pads, uh, kind of over time, they get kind of sticky. Uh, luckily, though, in this case, it did come straight off. And of course, since the fan's still connected, I can't just yank it out. I'll have to disconnect the fan there. And now it's a lot easier to remove the fan. So I can just peel the fan back and the fan will come right off. So now it's a lot easier to put the, put the fans in, as you can tell. Uh, so now I can actually do this all in one piece. Uh, I would actually like to blow out the fans um, to clear out all that dust. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I will be right back. Alright, so I cleaned out the dust from the fans. I'm going to take an alcohol pad and just clean out the old thermal paste. So you can swap that out with some Arctic Silver. Make sure that all old crusty thermal paste is off of there for the new stuff. Get around the edges. Make sure that the surface is nice and clean. And then, of course, flip over the heatsink. And do the same. I'm going to leave the thermal pads on, obviously. 
Just remove the old crusty thermal paste. Do the same for both the GPU spot and the CPU spot. Get rid of all the old thermal paste built up on there. Make sure you have a nice smooth surface. And now the copper is clean, so we have our Arctic Silver here. I'm going to put that on the CPU and the GPU. Just go ahead and lay down some Arctic Silver CPU. And of course the same for the GPU over here. Just like that. And now I'll put the fans in. So the one on the left, you just lay in here like so. And of course, make sure to plug it in. Try to actually plug it in first. I think it might be easier. Plug it in like so. And then the fans should just lay in there like that. And then for the one on the other side, same thing. Just lay the fan in there. Once you plug it in like so, like that, and that should just lay in there, and those screw holes should all align with each other. And now I'll put the heat sink back on, I'll lay that down back where it was, like so. Put a little bit of pressure on the CPU and the GPU just to make sure that the thermal paste is nice and spread out. And I can put the heatsink screws back in um, in the reverse order that we took them out. So, uh, same thing like we did taking them out, you do one, two, three, four, put them back in the same way. Do about a full spin uh, each time. So I'll do three, one full spin, four, one full spin, and then back to one, back to two three and four until all the screws are all the way tight and same for the GPU those screws in one at a time in diagonal pattern Thing, go diagonals until it's completely screwed down, and that should be good for the heat sink. Okay, now that that's done. Put the solid state drive back in. First, slot that into the M.2 slot and push that down. And then you can put that drive screw back in. Now we can put some of the fan screws back in as well. So I will put the fan screws in. We had one that was there. And then our heatsink shrouds as well. For this one, for example, this one lays in there like this, and some of these screws do go through the shroud, so we'll just make sure that this is on before we put those screws in. Uh, this one is an exception, but the rest of them will go through this uh, heatsink shroud. So I'll put those screws back in. The other side we have the bigger shroud and this is the one where the charging jack routes through so make sure you pass it back through the inside of this and pull it through you can lay it back in and then route the cable accordingly and make sure that you plug the charging jack actually back in the, the motherboard like so Ok, 
Tape it back down. Now we can put the fan screws back in for this fan. these little plastic covers from the side you can put these back in and these kind of go in a little bit weird so there is this uh, notch cut out and then so you got to line it up with the hinge kind of on an angle and then go around it and when you push them in you should hear them kind of click and it will line up with the little plastic um, posts inside there See that that one just clipped in. And there are the screws on both sides of that. So we had the one in this corner. As well as the one we had in this corner, but we'll have to put the shroud on first for this one. Same story. Uh, there's this little notch in there, and then you have to line it up with the notch in the hinge on the inside. So make sure it's closer to this side. Put that in like that. Push it on over and slide it in. It should line up with the plastic posts. Like that. And then put the screw in on that corner there. As well as inner screws and these two uh, fatter ones on the outsides. Sides, and that should pretty much be it. Make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Just looking good. We have all our fan screws in. Just looking good. And yeah, so that should be good. So now we can put the bottom cover back on. Grab that. snap that back on. Now before we put the bottom screws in, we will just test it from a uh, benchmark and stress test it just to make sure that the thermal paste and the, fan, the new fans are working correctly. And then when that works, we'll put the bottom screws in. Uh, and you can go back to the beginning of the video to do that part. But with that being said, that's pretty much it for how to replace the fans on HP Omen 15-DC. If you have any questions, uh, make sure to leave a comment and feel free to subscribe for more videos in the future.